Mrs. Gatabaki. Uh, it's a pleasure for us to have you here today. Um, this is a very important occasion for us because we have been working on the project on women's economic empowerment and we have been thinking about the great work that women did in terms of uh, you know, becoming the drivers of uh, promoting women's economic empowerment. Um, in our search for the women who did that, particularly in the 70s and 80s, uh, we came across uh, uh, Catherine Ishwaya here, who was your colleague in the movement and playing different roles. And uh, she introduced, she told us actually, if you really want somebody who knows about Kenya professional and business women, and many other women's organizations and what they did for Kenyan women in terms of economic empowerment, then you must speak to Mrs. Gatabaki. That's very important. She personally invited me to a meeting uh, for business women, which was in Bangkok. And when we went there, she told me that it was very important for me to buy some clothes to come and sell back home. I thought I was important as a banker then, but now she really told me, you cannot come here, and then you go back empty-hearted. So we really are very, very happy that you have come and um, that you accepted our invitation. And we hope to have many other women like you uh, speak to us because we believe that uh, we have made progress in terms of women's representation, particularly uh, because of some of the provisions in the Constitution of Kenya 2010. And we believe that there is a lot in the Constitution that actually should promote women's economic empowerment and that it is time we learn from the best in this particular area. The idea is also to see how we can encourage a networking and alliance building, working with women across the country to establish that kind of commitment like the one you had uh, in the in the Now, with regard to business and professional women's club, Rachel uh, worked very, very closely, of course, under the leadership of our senior ladies, like uh, Mrs. Beth Mogo and, uh, and other women, the late Jane Ogwapit, we also had uh, Kitiambi, Maria Kitiambi was also involved in that. So what we learned was that we didn't deal with the issues of tribalism at our generation, at that level. We worked as Kenyans, and it is important to just uh, bring this issue on board. The other thing which is so key about what uh, we did as a group, uh, of course led by none other but uh, our professor here, uh, with during the Women's Decade Conference. Whereas they used this venue, the University of Nairobi venue, to make all the arrangements for the women who had come all over the world. You encouraged us with the drive that you had, that it was important for us to work under your guidance with including Dr. Uh, Dr. Edna Gachukia. I and Rachel, because we were young, and other young ladies, we were given the responsibility of ensuring that we, we dealt with the issue of hospitality. Why hospitality? Because it was important, like we got it from our, the leadership uh, of our ladies who are in that particular committee, for us to showcase who Kenya, other women from all over the world, that we did not only live here, but we were able, under the leadership of the late Jane Kiano and Mother Mugambi, the late Mother Mugambi, and uh, Jane Ogwapit was also there, and many others, like the late, we were able to organize with the assistance of the government, organize buses to go all over the country to show our women who had come from all, from the, from all areas in, uh, uh, at the global level, st strictly speaking, who we really were. 
they were able to interact with our and dance with our women in the villages. And so when we talk about our social cultural uh, values, there we were showing our visitors that had it not been for the lessons we had learned from our mothers and the culture that we embraced, we would not have been where we were, even if we were educated. So, and also in the 90s, uh, in, uh, in your various organizations, and we know that Kenya Professional and Business Women and even Women Economic Empowerment Forum were very important in this particular field. Um, as, a, as a leader in that field, we felt that it is very, very important we listen to you. And, um, and we will continue listening to you and we will continue listening to other women so that our younger generation and even the older generation, because if you are 20, in the 80s, we are already going towards your 50s. Um, we believe that we can learn. We can learn strategies that you used. We can learn about the struggles you went through. And we can learn how you overcame those struggles and then um, strengthen the women's economic empowerment movement so that uh, we can you know, get out of the, the poverty that we keep talking about, but also so that women get into leadership positions, both in government and in other, in, in parastatals and in other, even in the private sector, in order to drive the economy. Because we believe that even if women were in charge of the economy, a lot of changes would take place. So we are very, very happy um, that you have come to uh, partner with us to, to talk about this journey. Thank you. Kenya we mi baba yangu, Kenya